Yeah, so we have our usual stats, and you'll notice the little red arrow indicating our general direction on this course that we've preloaded, our lap distance, pace, etc. Our heart rate, we've been stopped, so we're at 78. Time. And then here it gets interesting. We loaded a course uh, that had a certain time. I'd already run it, and it's estimating how much we're ahead of the course time and when we finish. Here's a map showing uh, where we are, the little blue at the bottom, and then we're headed on the red. We have 3.84 miles to go. We're on course at this point, so we're zero off course. If we were off course, it would show us. This is a very flat route, but it would show us how much elevation we're going to gain and how much we have gained on the course, 5.28 miles. And then here's our estimated, um, again, our estimated time and our estimated time of arrival at 4.02. So very useful if you're uh, on a long hike or something of that sort. So you can follow the maps and load a GPX file to follow a course. A minute or so ago, we went off course. If you look down past the 30 mile per hour sign, we were gonna turn there. Now, if we look at the watch, you can see it's telling us we're 0.1 miles off course and the direction we need to go to get back on course for our five mile run. And here, if you look closely, you can see the red line is where we were supposed to be and the blue with the blue triangle is where we are now and we're about 500 feet off course, which looks pretty accurate. Of course, when you're running, you can also see all kinds of other stats. Here, we have our time ahead of uh, the course that we loaded, 5.28 miles that I've run before. Time of day, uh, heart rate right now, 93. Our lap uh, stats, and finally, our just regular run stats. All of this is configurable, including putting a data overlay over that map to show, for example, uh, average pace or distance or heart rate. So that's the Phoenix 5X navigation. You can also start a run from any point without a course, pick a distance, and it will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. Uh, there are no turn-by-turn -turn directions if you uh, pick a GPX course that already exists, but if you let it pick the course, it'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions and buzz and so on and so forth. So that's that.